All right, guys, so the car sat overnight, everything's plugged in, and we are still at 12.44, 12.43 volts. I think yesterday when we left it, it was, I don't have to go back and watch yesterday's video. I think it was like 12.5, so it lost 0 0.06 volts overnight. I would say the alternator was definitely the issue, and the reason for that is because I was losing like almost a whole volt over an hour previously to swap out the alternator, so I think this thing is good to go, and thankfully it wasn't a crazy fix. New alternator was 40 bucks on eBay, and we should be good to go. I thought for surely the air ride on this car was gonna be frozen today, this morning, because it's probably like 20 degrees outside, and surprisingly, it's not frozen. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and to another vlog. We are finally taking the FRS out. I keep saying that I'm putting this car away for winter and it keeps not snowing, so I keep driving the car. Um, this is maybe one of the last photo shoots we are doing. My buddy Jordan, you guys have seen him on the channel a few times. Jordan from Three Cities, or Jordan from Tri Cities, his Instagram is Three Cities BRZ. He has like a really wide yellow bagged Panam V3.5 BRZ. So he's up in Spokane today. We're gonna go meet up with him get a few photo shoots in, maybe some videos, just hang out. I figured I'd bring you guys along in case any fun shenanigans happen today. So being that Jordan's out here only for today, we decided to throw a last minute car meet and we're like the only ones here so far. We'll see how good the turnout is. Crazy. Hopefully my axle don't break off. We met up with my buddy George who is a photographer and we got Jordan's car here, the FRS, and George is gonna do some more light painting. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but if you don't, I'll throw a photo on the screen. George took this crazy photo. It was all I call light painting last night of the Evo 10. So we're gonna do some more tonight. Huh, George? You got some fans, bro. Where? I'll show you guys kind of like behind the scenes of the master. That's lit. All right guys, it's the next day. We just got back home. I did end up grabbing this strut tower bar from Limitless Coatings. This thing turned out so good. I'm super hyped to get that thing on the car. Let's pull the Evo in the shop, get that strut tower bar mounted up, and then we need to work on the hood. I ended up talking to Bobby's dad. They own a auto body shop. They're gonna run it through the oven for a few cycles and that should be good enough to wrap after that. I feel like that is exactly what this engine bay needed is that red strut tower bar. Everything else looks on point now. There's not too much red. It's not overdoing it. I think it looks really, really nice. The next thing we're gonna do is run downstairs, grab the hood, throw the hood on the car. I have to build the hood latch for it. And then as soon as I get that built, we can get everything aligned, head in, drop the hood off, get it baked. And then I don't know how many times they wanna bake it. I think he said like three or four times. And after that, we should be good to do the half wrap on it. This car will be completed exterior wise and we can move on to the fuel system. All right, we got the hood mounted up and aligned for the most part. I didn't want to spend too much time aligning it because I'm going to pull it off for it to get baked anyway. But the next thing we need to do is build the latch that bolts on right there. So I went and picked up a steel plate. I think that's probably 3 16 and then a quarter inch thick rod to build this little plate. First thing I'm going to do is get this plate cut out, get four holes drilled in it, and then we can bend the rod up, get the rod welded on the plate, and we'll have a nice hood latch.
All right, we got that main plate built. The next thing to do is to build the hook. It's gonna be welded on from here. It's gonna come out just like a stock one does. But the problem I'm having and the thing I don't know how to figure out quite yet, I'll figure it out eventually, but how deep to get the hook to sit. So I got, I got two feet of the rod. So if I don't make it right the first time, I can always redo it. What I think I'll do is pull off the bumper, just get the hood sitting down and kind of do some measuring. And then I do have the stock Evo 10 as well, so I can measure off that hood and com kind of compare it in. We'll figure it out eventually, but that bottom plate turned out pretty nice. So according to my calculations, it's gotta be about five centimeters deep. So I have two five centimeter marks and one 4.5 centimeter mark for a for the width of it. The stock one's 4.5 centimeters wide. I'm gonna cut this thing at 14.5 centimeters and then make two bends in it. We should be good to go. I'm not gonna weld this thing up. I'm gonna have my brother Austin weld it up cause he's good and I'm not good. All right, so this hook is all finished up. It is about, I would say about an eighth inch too long right here. So thankfully it's too long, not too short. I don't have to remake it. I just have to trim a tiny bit off on each side and we should be good to go. This may be a dumb mistake, but I'm actually gonna be driving the car to Austin's house with the hood unlatched. If I can keep it under 10 miles an hour, we should be good. He's only like two miles down the road. So it's gonna take a minute to get there, but I don't wanna pull the latch off, bring it there, have him weld it all up and then it not line up at all. So I'd rather just bring the whole car over there. You wanna say what's up to YouTube? Say hi. All right, we are all finished up with this latch. It turned out really, really nice. I'm tempted to just powder coat this clear. It's not stainless, so it'll definitely rust if I don't coat it. So it's either gonna go clear to have those nice burns on the welds or powder coat it black. I haven't decided yet, but yeah, works like it should. Now we don't have to worry about this hood flying up anymore. We just got a package in the mail from M MA Performance. Remember guys, Devin5 saves you 5% off anything at MA Performance. Let's rip this thing open. I already know it's in the box, but let me show you guys what we got. This will work. First up, we have a replacement inner fender. <laughs> I always get funny comments about my thumb. I have double jointed thumbs, guys. Don't mind them. They're kind of uh, kind of ugly. Replacement inner fender for the driver's side. So this one's all beat up right there, as you can see. And this one was brand new until we just drove over to Austin's house and it kind of messed it up right there. So I'm gonna kind of, I think I'm gonna hot glue that back together. See if I can get it to stay. And we got something even better. So this is all the stuff for the adjustable fuel pressure regulator. So as soon as that fuel pump is done being set up, I don't think I ever really told you guys, but I dropped my double pumper off to get set up for, is a hob switch. I was just talking about this on Instagram Live, so I'm sure a lot of you already heard me talking about this, but basically the second pump is gonna come on around like 10 to 12 PSI, somewhere in that range. It's all adjustable, so I can adjust it if needed while we're tuning but I didn't know how to set that up and it's not really something I wanted to deal with. So I decided just to drop it off. So as soon as that pump comes back um, and we get our injectors in the mail, the in injectors I bought were not real ID2000s. So be safe out there guys. If you're gonna buy used stuff, make sure you get legit stuff. I had, I'm having to return those, open and pay for all the speed, return those and get legit ones. So I think all that should be in this week sometime. You're watching this video Tuesday. This thing should be tuning hopefully by Thursday. Let's throw on this new inner fender and then get the bumper back on the car. We gotta get, I can't talk. We got, we need to get the bumper adjusted. It was sagging a little bit on the driver's side. So we gotta just tighten that up a little bit. We should be able to go drop this hood off, get it ran through the oven a few times, a few different cycles, and then come back home maybe tomorrow and wrap it. I don't really know. I have to talk to the shop and see what they say.
All right, we are all finished up with the new inner fender install. I got the other one hot glued together. Let's hope it holds. If it doesn't, like I said earlier, I'll just have to replace it. We should be good to go though. I'm gonna run in, drop this hood off at Bobby's dad's shop, have him bake it out. Drop a comment down below about this hood, hood latch thing. Should I leave it like that, clear coat it so it looks nice and pretty? Or should I just powder coat it black? Let me know. I'm gonna wrap it up right here, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. We should be getting that fuel system in soon into the car and hopefully tuned and make some good power. I just gotta find the 85. Peace out guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.